Well, if there is anyone who knows how to tell a good story, it is LeVar Burton. The Reading Rainbow pioneer is still at it thanks to his hit podcast called LeVar Burton Reads. And LeVar Burton is here with me now. Hello, and how are you? I'm well, Jackie. Good, good, good morning, good afternoon. What made you want to do a podcast in this way? Reading aloud is one, it's one of my most favorite modalities of storytelling. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, reading Rainbow years and years and years ago, I enjoy the idea of maintaining a relationship with that generation of adults now who grew up on the show. One of my points of the podcast is to introduce my audience to authors that they may ne never have heard of before. Um, and I, I, I <clears throat> feature heavily, you know, writers on the margins, underrepresented folk um, in, in short fiction, because that's what the podcast is all about. I, I pick a different piece of short fiction and, and I read it every episode. But also um, speculative fiction is what I lean heavily into because it's my favorite genre when I'm reading for pleasure. And I tell you, doing the podcast through this pandemic has saved my life. Yeah, how it, so? Because it's given me purpose, something to do, a way to contribute, a way to give back, a way to sustain my spirit, right? I'm traditionally always on the road. Um, and for the better part of a year, I've been home, which has been great. And it's given me a new perspective on my life. And still, um, I've had to find a way to engage in in storytelling, which is what I do. How comforting um, do you get that you actually doing this? <laughs> to so many people. I mean, come on now. Let's not. You you get that right? Yeah, it's part of the feedback loop, right, Jackie? Yeah. Right. I love doing this. I know they love me doing it. The human beings love being read too, because it's one of those elemental experiences that informs us that we are indeed human, right? When we're young and we sit in the lap of an elder or a parent and we, we get so much communicated to us in that moment, right? We are being encouraged in those moments to reach to our highest potential. What is speculative fiction for those who don't know? Because I don't know, what is well, that? It, 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 it is the newfangled word for science fiction, right? But okay. speculative fiction, for me, because it's not all about science, for me, speculative fiction is really about humanity in that imagined setting that, that is other than the, the now moment that we live in, right? Speculative fiction to me is, is all about changing the narrative to one that suits one better than the white normative narrative that is always a part of literature in American culture. And specifically, science fiction liter literature was always written by old white men. Yeah, yeah. And so with the, with the advent of writers like Octavia Butler and Nettie Okorafor, and uh, there are just so many brilliant people who have, who like me, love the genre, right? I'm a blurred true and true, okay? And so to have this wealth of material in my favorite genre that I can relate to on every level? Yeah. <sniffs> come on. Come on. Well, I gotta ask you about Jeopardy and this whole petition that's going around for you to uh, be the new host. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what was your mm -hmm. reaction to that? And I know that you um, knew Alec Trebek really well. Um, and so well, we knew each other. We knew each other. I, I can't say really well. Yeah. I badgered him for years to do Celebrity Jeopardy. I loved it. I, I, I was thrilled to be on the show. I'm a huge Jeopardy fan. And I would, I would absolutely be thrilled um, yeah. if that job were to come my way. You and me and... Millions of others would be thrilled about that. Uh, you've also been busy directing. I don't know if during the pandemic you're doing, but some episodes of NCI. Yeah, I, right before Thanksgiving, I did 52 Days in New Orleans, um, directing a, a couple of episodes back to back. Mm, well, booked mm. and busy, as the kids say. Life is short, Jackie. Um, and I intend to squeeze every bit I can out of it while I'm here because this isn't promised again. 
And, 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 and even if I do come back, the guarantee that I would lead a life as meaningful and full and rich as this is not guaranteed. So I'm, this is the one I'm conscious of right now. This is the one I am living to my fullest. I am definitely trying to live my best life. And we are enjoying the journey. So I want to let everybody know for more info on LeVar Burton Reads, head to LeVarBurtonPodcast.com. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me today. Check us out. We are available wherever you get your podcast on.